This video is on the integrating essential skills category and the topics are area of a triangle and area of other figures. So let's first talk about the area of a triangle. We have a formula for that. Area of a triangle is one half the base times the height, B times H. When we're looking for base and height, if we're given a right triangle, it's usually very straightforward. We're given like in this figure below, we have the base along the bottom and the height across the top and we're just gonna do one half of that. So let's say the height is eight and the base is seven. So we're gonna apply our formula and area is one half eight times seven, which gives us an area for this triangle of 28. Now, when you don't have a right triangle, we're almost going to have to create one to usually determine the height. So let's start off with our figure. Um, we, we notice here on the left-hand side, we don't have a right triangle. But we do know we can use that bottom area, we can use the bottom leg there as the base, but we don't know what the height is. But we can draw down a perpendicular line from that top angle down to the base, and that would give us the height. So if we can figure that out based on other leg lengths or angle measures that we're given, we can then apply the one half B times H. Sometimes we can make use of the Pythagorean theorem and we'd have, you know, that being the a squared plus b squared equals c squared to determine the height. If we're looking at that right triangle that we've created there on the right hand side, we now have a hypotenuse. The height is either a or b and half of that base there being the other leg. So let's review some of the vocabulary that's associated with triangles. And we have a couple of triangles that are based on the side lengths. And when you have no side lengths that are equal, that's a scaling triangle. When you have triangles with two sides exactly that are equal, that's an isosceles triangle. And an equilateral triangle has all three side lengths equal. Now let's take a look at area of other figures. One such figure that we might be talking about is called a trapezoid. And here we have different side lengths for our two different bases. So we'll take one half H B1 plus B2. So be familiar with the formula for the area of a trapezoid. So if you can remember that formula, that's great, but sometimes it's harder to remember formulas. So if what you can do is take whatever figure you're given and try to break it down into rectangles or triangles, because we usually can remember those formulas pretty well, then we can hopefully come up with the area for whatever figure we're asked to find. So let's take, for example, this hexagon. And there's many different ways you can do this, but one option would be maybe to break it down into two triangles and a rectangle. You could break it down into two trapezoids if you remember that. And so what we can do is if we have some other dimensions that we're given, we can use those and then have the area of the total figure to be two triangles and one rectangle. So let's take a look at an ACT type problem. Pause the video here and then you can come back and we'll work it together. The question asks, what is the area of the isosceles right triangle with hypotenuse equal to 12? So there's some important information in the question itself. It tells us we have an isosceles right triangle. So we know because it's isosceles that two sides are the same. So we usually, if we're talking about the Pythagorean theorem with a squared plus b squared, we usually use a and b. So in this case, we can just say a is the same as b, which is equal to x. We can use one variable. And then if we wanna give the hypotenuse equal to c, our normal term we use. We start off with our a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I'm just gonna substitute in x for a and b. So we get two x squared equals 144 solve for x and we get x is 6 on the square root of 2. We have to think that is not the answer to our question. What we were originally finding was the area of the right triangle. This just gives us a side length. So remember area is 1 half base times height. So now we know that the two side lengths are the same. The base and the height are 6 on the square root of 2. So we plug that into 1 half bh and we get area is 36. Answer choice D.